new theme song. Well, I hit the wrong pause button. Oh, well, good morning. Is it morning? It's still pretty dark out there. My name is Tom Rigsby. This is 7 Minutes in the Morning. You get your daily dose from me. Hey, uh, check it out. When you get here, do what Joe and Catherine have already done. Leave a comment, say good morning, say hi, say, uh, yeah, the chicken's back there. What's the chicken doing back there? Whatever. Float your boat. And, hey, if you feel so motivated, you can like the video. Give it a thumbs up, uh, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you're watching because you can listen and you can watch this particular show all over the place. iTunes, Stitcher, TuneIn, YouTube, SoundCloud, right here on Facebook. It's all the same. But if you come to 7minutesinthemorning.com, then you get to join in the conversation with all of these fantastic people that join us here every morning. All right, so this week we've been talking about how to simplify your path to success. Look, I, br I, I remembered to put my book over here close today because today I want to give you the formula. And this, you know, um, when you talk about simplifying, we, and, and all week we've been talking about how to simplify, why we hold on to complexity, um, and and just kind of those associated things. The simple truth, the simple truth is that we need to simplify, right? Our our the way our mind works, the way our brain is wired. The fewer things we have to hold on to, the better we can execute on those things. And if you can use a system, well, I've got the whiteboard back here with the sticky notes. I've got the, the book I'll show you here in just a minute and the formula I'm going to share with you. The easier you can make it, the more you're going to get done. And then when you get those, and look, this is, the, you know, the other thing, and I hear this a lot. Well, uh, let, me, let me go back for just a minute. Yeah, I'll go ahead and share the formula. How about that? That's probably the best way to do it. When I started looking at how to simplify, you know, I started with the sticky board and then I had this long to-do list. The long to-do list was exhausting. And, and you know, not to mention, I'll, actually, I'll give you guys a link for that too before we go. Um, not to mention the fact that um, when you put a long to-do list together and you don't finish it, what do you get? Well, you don't get your dopamine reward, that's for sure, right? So you, you kind of, you, you just don't, you don't get the reward. And then for a long time, I said, okay, here's my punishment. This, this punishment is going to motivate me to finish this list because if I don't finish this list, I'm going to rewrite it every day. So I wouldn't finish it, so I would punish myself every day. What a great way to end the day, every day. I don't know why that didn't work. So in seeking a way to simplify, this is what I came up with. This is what I want to share with you today. This formula, uh, this guy right here. I just want to put it over here on this side. P plus 4F. Catherine says, when you put a long list of to-dos together and don't get it done, you get a lot of wasted time putting together a list. Yeah, absolutely. I like that, too. P plus 4F, right? This is five items. So every morning, I just want to show you. I'll show you yesterday's, and I'll show you today's. So in the book, down at the bottom of the book, right? Where is it? Right there, right? There's my P plus 4F for yesterday. And then today, I adapted and I added some detail to one of them. So there's the P plus 4F, and then here's the detail over here. Right? So the, the point is, you know, make it work for you. And, and maybe, I don't want you to dismiss the P plus 4F out of hand. But if, 
If it's not working for you, I want you to adapt it. But at least try it for a couple of days and see how it works for you. So here's the trick. Here's how it works. There's only five items on your to-do list. When you start the day, there's only five. Only five. You can't put six. Only five. Now, you can put less than five if you want. One of them, the first one, has to be your priority item. That's the P. And then you get four focus items for after you finish your priority item. So a P plus four Fs. That's it. Yeah, actually, Catherine's got a great point. You can fit it on a sticky note. So I did that for a, for a little while, and then I just started writing it in the book. But I would write it on a sticky note and then, like, stick it on the inside cover of the book so I could, you know, put a new one in there every day. But then I just started writing it on the page. But the, it, it's simple. It's not complicated. It's easy to remember. You can write it on anything. You can write it on the whiteboard, on a sticky note, in your journal, right? And, and I put it in the same place every day just so, I, you know, it's habit. I wanted to create that habit. Hey, there's a book going. Um, so that I would, you know, get used to seeing it there every day. Now, here's the most common complaint that I get about P plus 4F. I've got a lot more than five things to do. Okay, which may be true. I mean, look at my sticky board. I've got more than five things to do. But I can't do more than five at a time. So this kind of satisfies that need in our brain to hold on to a part of the list without it having to be the complete list, right? But it also forces us to focus, <clears throat> right? To narrow that list down to just the five things that you want to attack first. And this scales. This is the other beautiful thing about this. You can apply P plus 4F to a year, a quarter, a month, a week, a day, the morning, the afternoon. We can have one priority in the morning and one in the afternoon if, if you finish your morning at a priority, then you can have an afternoon priority. But before you start doing any of those mods, just try this for a couple of days. The five things that you need to get done today. And remember, your priority item, here's how you define that. If I do this and nothing else, today will be a win. Or, if I do everything else and not this, today is a loss. That's your priority item. Now, the other thing that... Oh, well, let's, let me ask. I'll put this question out to the group. Do you have more than one priority? Some people do. Some people think they do. The reality, though, is that saying that you have more than one priority is just a way to say it can't choose, can't decide. But if you get backed into a corner, you'll decide. You'll make a choice. That choice might be even. Let's say, let's say you uh, you thought you had two priorities for the day. You went through the whole day trying to figure out how you're going to get both of them done. Both of them require ten minutes. There's ten minutes left in the day. What are you going to do? You'll either pick one of them or defer until tomorrow. Either way. You didn't get both of them done. Or you can do both of them halfway. And we don't do things halfway here, right? So there you go. That's the uh, that's the tip for today. P plus 4F. Put that back up there just in case you didn't see it. Go ahead and see how you can implement that today. Just, just try to make the list today. But now that I've put that earworm in your ear, you're, you're always going to remember when you start to write a to-do list, oh man, I should do P plus 4F instead of write this long list. You can always add more to it when you get those five done. But get those five done and then add to it. Don't try to do you know, the whole long list. All right? Hey, that's it for today. There is an event coming up tonight. I failed to mention this yesterday. That's my fault. I apologize. You can go to, I'll be at uh, Redstone Federal Credit Union tonight from, I think it's from 6 to 7. You can go to the website, TomRagsby.com. Click on Upcoming Events and you can see that and all other upcoming events that are on the calendar. I would love, love, love it if you would join me there. And uh, I think we're talking about... Uh, <laughs> I should go look. I think we're talking about uh, resources for starting a, a business. I'm going to be on a panel tonight uh, talking about that. So 
please feel free to come join us. All of the information, time, location, registration links are right there. You can click on those and get those. Remember, so because today is Thursday, that means tomorrow's Friday, it's free coaching Friday, stump the coach day. Get your questions about simplification or just any old thing you want and um, get those ready for me tomorrow. Hit me with them in the morning and uh, we'll see if you can stump me. All right. That's it. That's all. We're all done. You guys have a fantastic rest of the day Thursday. I will talk to you again in the morning.